My name is David Hay. I'm a landscape architect and director of Thompson Hay Landscape Architects in Ballarat. We're the lead consultant for the Lake Tyrrell Tourist Infrastructure Project, engaged by our Bullock Shire Council with funding from Regional Development Victoria to improve the visitor experience at Lake Tyrrell. Lake Tyrrell is a really fragile environment and particularly the foreshore of the lake, both the soil and the vegetation. The infrastructure that we're proposing is some toilets and a viewing platform which will overlook the lake from Bailey's Road. Moving through the site there's pedestrian access paths and boardwalks which will provide quite a separate access to the, to the actual lake proper for pedestrians and then improved vehicle access. There's also a sky lounge proposed. We've designed a pretty much a reclined seat that people can quite comfortably just lay back and look at the sky. Directional signage is there, but importantly, it's the interpretive signage, which provides a background to the salt mining, the local flora and fauna, the history of the Burong people. Jane Stacey from Sea Lake, a local resident here, born and bred in Sea Lake. I think the whole project is fantastic for the lake. It'll bring a lot of business into town and just giving people access to an area of the lake which with the build will protect the lake. It'll bring a lot more visitors to town. We have noticed that it's not so much just the Chinese international market but a lot more domestic market. Our caravan park has lots more trade going through and staying with them. We've got new businesses opening up all of the time which is fantastic. G'day, my name's James Goldsmith. I'm the Economic Development slash Tourism Officer with Blake Shire Council. My connection with Lake Tyrrell is obviously with tourism. There's been a huge jump in tourism in the last probably two years. It'll attract more visitors to Lake Tyrrell by actually providing information for them, explaining to them where they should go to the lake, making it easier for them to get the photos that they want, the mirror photos and the star reflections at night. Now you can see there's lots of things happening. They've got a, a brand new restaurant built on the corner that's only just in the process of opening. Uh, council's received a permit for a 32 bed motel, brand new one. There's about six or seven Airbnbs opened up in Lake Tyrrell since this has started happening. All of those things are going to keep growing. And my name's Darren Griffin. I'm an archaeologist and I work for the Burundi Gadget Land Council. The uh, Wagaya name for Lake Tyrrell is Dill and it's a really important, uh, special, sacred place to the local Aboriginal peoples. The single most important proposal within this project is the improved walking paths and boardwalks. So people are able to, to park at Bailey's Road and be able to access the lake, which is the over the top of the Salt Lake, um, without getting muddy feet, which is one of the biggest issues at the moment. It's that margin on the edge of the lake which people have to cross, which is typically muddy, before they get to the hard salt crust. I think it's important for people to understand that connection that Aboriginal people have with the place. So visitors can, can understand that, and I think that will enrich the local community as well, because I think it'll bring people together.